Articulate QuizMaker makes it really easy to design visually rich quizzes that assess learners from real-world perspectives. Let me show you what I mean. Now, for most QuizMaker users, this is the view you work from, right? It's called Form View, and it's where you can rapidly enter quiz questions, choices, and basic feedback. Now, this works great in a lot of cases, but if you're looking to take your quiz to the next level, you're going to need to move into Slide View. Now, we do that by clicking this icon, Slide View. So what's the first thing you notice here, right? It looks a lot like PowerPoint, right? Well, we now have options for customizing the layout of our quiz. Now, this includes our graphics, text, multimedia, and even our question and choices. The first thing we'll do is add a more meaningful background to our quiz, right? One that supports the real world tasks we're actually trying to assess. So I'll go ahead and select a image that I created. And let's go ahead and send it to the back. Now we won't need this thumbnail graphic anymore, so we can delete it. Now this is where QuizMaker really shines. We're no longer limited by the default layout of our text boxes. We can actually reposition the text boxes like we would in PowerPoint. Now this also includes our choices. And we have a few options here. First, we can resize the text box and reposition it to align with our graph. That looks great, right? Since our background graphic already includes the month labels, we really don't need them with our choices. So let's remove the text choice altogether and leverage the radio buttons by themselves. We just have to make sure we add a single blank space to each choice so QuizMaker knows this is a valid option. I'll quickly update each of my choices with a single space. And here's a neat production tip. If you shift click each of your choices, you can select and resize them together. Now you might wonder, well, how will QuizMaker know which choice is correct? Simple, we select it. Whichever choice displays the selected state is the correct choice. So let's go ahead and preview our work. All right, so we can see our radio buttons are positioned over our graph and everything looks great. Now the hover color has a default color background. We're going to want to remove that. Go ahead and make the choice. Click Submit. Now here we have our default feedback window. Since we're customizing our entire question slide, we should also customize how we present learners with feedback slides. So we'll go ahead and make those two changes. To change the hover color, we'll create a new theme color. Now we do that by going to Design, Colors, and create a new theme color. Right here, Accent 1, this is used for the hover color, so we can set that to white so it blends with our background graphic. Go ahead and give the color theme a new name and save. Now that our design colors are updated, we have one more step, and that's to customize our feedback slide. Now we actually need to return to Forum View to make this change. For feedback, we'll change by question to none. Now the reason we do this is to disable the feedback pop-up window that appears after the learner clicks submit. Instead, we'll use a blank slide to present customized feedback for each question. Now let's go ahead and close the window and create that new feedback slide. So go ahead and click blank slide to create a new slide. And I'll switch over to slide view again. Now we only need one of these text boxes for the title, so we can delete the other. And now let's insert a new background image, one that we made for the feedback. And send it to the back like before. Okay, we just need to reposition our text box below like we did for the question slide. And we'll update the title. And we're all set. Preview your quiz. And that's just the beginning of what you can do. But essentially that's how easy it is to create visually rich quizzes in Articulate Quiz Maker.